hi guys welcome back to another angular video in this video i'm going to be talking about very important concept called pwa progressive web app so i will be converting one of the angular project uh, into pwa and pwa actually managing cache using the service worker service worker is a script that runs in the background and allow the app to work offline and provides other advanced features as well so i will be showing you by installing my web app into my mobile mobile device and I'll show you that how it is different from a general web application all right so let's get started so currently this particular angular project is calling an api if i show you my messages service you can see that this is a public api it is being called and its data is being shown up on my ui and this is one of the main reason i have chosen this project because one of the main feature of pwa is to manage cache when we are not connected to the internet still it will load up the data of the api which was stored in the cache by service workers okay so let's get started i'm gonna be installing um, and converting my this angular project into pwa and there is one command that we can write so in my terminal i'm going to write ng let me clear this out all right so ng add at angular pwa and after this i need to define it the name of my project i can go into this angular.json file and this is the name of my project and it can be different from your folder name so make sure you verify the project name from here so i will paste it here i will hit enter and it's going to install few dependencies and ask me whether i want to configure pwa in my project or not so i will press y and hit enter so it's going to install different packages it's going to create few files and add different references for those files in my project which i am going to show you what each file is actually doing over here so it is almost done installing the packages and configuring our project into pwa earlier we had to manage and write these configurations over self but in the advanced version of angular it is automatically done so first of all uh, if i go to the package.json file we will see that it will be installing service worker over here that is perfect and uh, if i go over here manifest file this is very important file you know that in mobile apps uh, if we install it from the store apple store or the play store we have to have the name logos for the different screen sizes uh, and this is all it is doing we can modify it changing the name of our app changing the colors changing the icons and it's the sizes of these icons and also the purpose of it okay this is for our understanding and uh, if i go into this source uh, folder uh, this app folder actually and uh, this is the index.html file we can see that it has actually added the reference of the manifest file in this index.html file and other than this it has added this ngsw config file this is actually handling the service workers you can see that it is actually importing the service worker file from the node modules and also added different configuration we don't need to make anything else into it so this is how we can convert our angular app into pwa now what are the features of pwa what does it do how does it work i'm going to install i'm going to first run this angular project using any server because on mobile app uh, we have to open up a url that uh, our angular app has to be deployed on any public url on any domain but uh, we can mimic this behavior using an awesome package of npm called the http server i've already installed it but just to show you if you are using mac or linux you can write sudo keyword at start uh, on windows you don't need to write that so we can write install hyphen g for global and http server you will hit enter it will install http server globally in your system but first of all before using http server to run our application we need to make the build of our app just like we build our application before deploying it on the actual server on the real domain okay so if i go to the package.json file we can see that it will have this build command over here so i can start off building this app npm run build so it will start off running the ng build command in order to build this so it's going to create a new folder in our angular project i believe it's going to add this dist folder and it includes all the compiled file 
in the form of javascript because browser only understands the javascript it has the assets needs to be added for the pwa when we will be installing it on the mobile device and also it has added this these files the manifest ngsw and different configuration files as well okay now let's use http server to run this app uh, to mimic the behavior like it is working uh, on an actual public url so i'm going to start off by writing http server and then i need to give it a port let's say 8080 then i need to write hyphen c hyphen one i need to go into this dist folder and forward slash i need to provide the name of my project so the name of my project is i can go into this angular json just like this i can just copy this name I can paste it I will hit enter so it will quickly run our app without building or compiling because it is already converted into JavaScript the build and compilation only works when we need to trans compile the try TypeScript into the actual the minified form of JavaScript so that's why it has quickly shown up so let me verify by opening this URL if it's working perfectly just like our angular app that we ran before so let's go into the browser I'm going to run this and it has called this API and it is loading up the data which is working perfectly fine now let's open up this URL actually I'm gonna open up this particular URL uh, my mobile device and my laptop is connected to the same internet connection so I can use this URL to open uh, this app on my mobile device so let's see so just to clear one confusion to you guys that I have opened up a random website bojis.com which is an e-commerce website and if I go down you will see at the center there is a share icon if I click on this share icon and if I scroll down you will see that there is a link add to home screen I will click on it and it will show me the title and the URL of it I will click add so if I click on add you will see that the last icon is actually showing the icon of my web app and also the title which was showing there if I open it up by clicking on this icon you will see that it will not open up as an app it will open up as a bookmark to that browser and open up using that URL okay if I click on this icon you will see that it has opened that app again on the browser Safari on my mobile device but this is not the case of PWA PWA when we add to home screen using the PWA it behaves like an actual real app that we have downloaded it from the Apple Store or the Play Store so what is the difference between a web app that we open up on a browser on mobile device and an app that is installed in our device directly from the store so the app is actually works even if we are not connected to internet it will not download the latest data but it will still show some ui which is cached in our mobile device but this is not the case of the browser that whenever we try to open up a url again which was previously opened it will not show the data it might show that the 404 page not found or the data not found and on the real mobile devices the apps which we install in the mobile devices we get the notifications as well so our pwa web app can be installed as a mobile app in our phone and next time we don't need to open up a browser we just need to open up that particular icon and it will behave just like an app and it will be having a smooth navigation just like a real mobile app it will be having a real notifications even if we are not opening up that particular web app or a mobile app which is converted into pwa so I'm going to open up the actual angular app which I have converted to PWA and let's see if I add that app into home screen then what happens before that one thing I would like to explain you that when you run your app using HTTP server after the dist folder dist slash write the name of that project that is auto generated after the dist folder as I am highlighting it you are not supposed to copy it from the angular JSON file because it includes some capital letters as well so let's open this app using this URL the second URL on my mobile device so I've opened up that URL and API call has been made and it is successfully working on my mobile device now let's create it and add it to home screen now let's add it to home screen 
So it has created this icon, which is the default icon automatically added when I converted my Angular app into PWA. So if I click on this last Angular icon, it should not open this app on my browser now. All right, you can see that I'm scrolling up and down and it is not showing the URL below. And if I just scroll it up, all right, so it is not opening up on my Safari browser. It has opened up as a separate application on my mobile device, just like the other application actually works. So let's recap what we have done so far. First of all, PWA uses the service workers to cache resources and it allows them to work offline even in low internet connections. And also PWA provide an app like experience with the smooth navigation, transitions and animation. And PWA can be installed in any user device whether it's iPhone, Android, tablets or iPads, okay? And PWA can be distributed among the stores, but this is not the purpose of it. Its purpose is that we should be able to convert over web app by opening it on the browser. And next time when we need to use it, we cannot open up that browser. We can directly click on that icon and it will start working as it is, okay? And if you have some push notifications in added and implemented in your app, it will work just like the other applications and you can also uh, check its settings as well from your mobile device. And one major feature about the service workers that whenever you are not connected to internet, it will show up the data from the cache. But as soon as you are connected to internet, you don't need to refresh your app. It will automatically update this app with the real data. And if your PWA app needs to access the hardware of your mobile device, it can access like camera, geolocation, sensors and more. So PWA definitely improves the user experience. I would suggest you guys to convert all of your web apps into PWA before you actually deploy your web app into the actual server. That's pretty much it for this video. If you have liked it, do subscribe my channel, like this video, comment below if you have any question. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you in the next video.